What's going on guys? Matthew A and today's episode we are in Rancho Muerta. If you don't know where Rancho Muerta is, Rancho Muerta is a gated community master plan about 25 miles outside Sacramento limits. And the, there's a brand new community that's getting built by Raiden and Bardis, a six floor plan uh, type of uh, community. I think about 170 lots that's gonna be uh, for, for sale. And they have four models we're going to be touring today so i'm very excited i talked to the listing agents for that community that she's expecting me in a few minutes and i'm going to tour all the property with you today hey if it's the first time to the channel if you're just tuning in if you want to know everything there is to know about sacramento the sacramento area like rancho muerta and this surrounding area click like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you too can be the first to learn about what Sacramento has to offer. My name is Matthew Adams. I am a local licensed real estate agent here for the state of California. And let me tell you, I'm getting phone calls, emails, and texts of people just like you every single day that want to move into Sacramento. And I'm very happy to have them out. So whether you want to move in in nine days or 90 days, feel free to reach out, email me, call me, or text me. My phone number is on the screen right now. And let's go through the tour of this gorgeous community, the river view that just opened up over the weekend here in Rancho Muerta. Let's go. All right, so this model, is the expeditionist five bedroom aloft a 32 89 square foot and to the right of it as we enter we have a long hallway to get you to the living space if we make a first right we have the third car garage entry and that can be nice for um, a little a gym or third car garage you have your office set up as an office or stage as an office very large walk-in closet which is very nice very very roomy nice carpet on the floor you have the first second bedroom if we got the first one right here with this full bathroom it's actually fairly wide between the, the sink and the, the tub area nice detailing with the towel a yeah, very nice light uh, in in a house second bedroom so this is uh, um, half wall decoration on the, on the bottom here, kind of add a little accent and texture to the wall. Nice and roomy. This is a kind of a twin size bed. So nice and it's big enough for a kid bedroom. We have a view of the front and tree right here. And we'll continue on to the visits. We have half bath right here that open up to a large volume with this exposed beam at the top here. We draw you in to the back of the house with this massive fireplace and this stack stone that goes all the way to the ceiling. Looking probably at a 10 to 11 foot ceiling here. Dining room area set up for six people. If you pan out here, you're going to get your beautiful island. Six, five seaters, large seat in the bottom. And underneath, underneath counter, underneath the counter mounted uh, sink for beautiful view of your rest of your living space. A lot of counter, a lot of prep area in this kitchen. And you even have your full pantry, which is right here. Little pantry, big enough to entertain. To have, make sure you have enough reserve of food as you cook big meals and after the golf tournaments here in Rancho Morata and let's explore the upstairs. We have the loft area right now it's set up as a playroom probably a game room if that kids grow up eventually we have two more bedrooms here on this side this one is set up for bunk bed I love and they stage those uh, those house because they just make it like a family will live here so very nice job on the staging here for this house laundry space side by side wash and dryer and your full bathroom let me turn around we have another bedroom right here 
as a nursery very close to the master suite and you have carpeting all the way on the top here i'm pretty sure this can be changed as well and we're getting into the master suite right now large and cozy you have the king size bed nine stand on the other side so you have enough room to move around just to give you a good idea every time we visit properties it's always nice when they do have a staging in place to just give you a nice visualization what the room can offer your freestanding tub right in the middle and then you have this beautiful bay window probably the privacy screen maybe halfway through so you don't expose yourself when you take a bath and you have this beautiful walking showers and your side-by-side -side vanities all right, let's explore the rest of the models on this community. As we're walking through the next uh, model here, they have model four, uh, four homes out of six they can build there. I want to show you how they started building out already the community right here. They are starting building out on the side. I think some of the property has been reserved over the weekend with the grand opening. I think they, she told me about 300 people shows up to the house, to, the, to this particular event. To the next models we're gonna see the next model we're gonna see is a single floor and it's called the traveler 1895 square foot three bedroom two and a half bath on the single floor nice entryway with a covered porch here now the new tacos on the side and you have a nice floor plan a nice floor on this one i think this is one of my favorites one of the floor you guys can put in a comment which floor you guys prefer right to the right side here you have a large office at least set up as an office it could be easily converted back into a bedroom because you're missing you have your closet right here next to this you have your uh, bathroom i love this octagon towel green towel a little bit of color to the bathroom i think it's kind of nice little touch the second bedroom with a view of the side yeah nice and tall ceiling here i think you're looking probably a 10 foot ceiling here hello all right let's continue on you have half bath right here another you know, linen pantry and boom open up to a nice open l shape concept living room with this very tall ceiling that resembles the first models we tour today a large living room with this l-shaped couch they can accommodate obviously your tv on the wall right here the backyard seems to be a bit bigger here and i think you have a view of the golf course right here yep i'm pretty sure you can tee from here getting to the green on the other side yeah anyway Dining room right in the middle, central focal point of the house. And I'll shape your living room, dining room, and again, use this big island. Probably you can add an extra couple of seaters on the side here, so you can have maybe five seaters that can dine here. So five people that can dine on this particular island, and you have extra seating. So it's very nice for 18 or 19 under square foot property. I think you have a lot of room to move, uh, to move around. Nice cabinetry with this goldish accent, this dark granite. We're tying everything together. Not too light, not too bright, not too dark also as well because you have your lighter floors. I think the contrast is very nice. They pick the right colors here, I think for these models. Up here, you have your laundry space, your washer and dryer side by side with a little counter space and your sink to pre-wash your clothes and a large pantry area. Let's continue on. We're going to skip the backyard for now. And we're going to get into the master suite. Large master suite with an access to the backyard. It's always nice. This master suite obviously has its own ensuite, its own bathroom here. A large socking tub with this beautiful bare windows. I would have probably add probably a privacy screen halfway in or completely all the way to the top with a big walking shower and a large 
sink side by side sink yeah very nice all right let's explore the third model this one has a top also like the first one i think a little bit smaller a two-car garage instead of a three and a gorgeous interior as well so let's go through the door this one is mostly a farm like entryway with this vertical slat and the model we're going to tour right now is a trailblazer 3041 square foot two master suites and a gorgeous interior all right at the entrance on the left side we have the first bedroom king size bed or queen size bed a king could fit also as well a view of the front could be a nice office you have your own bathroom dedicated right here with shower top combo a nice little tower here for this model and we'll continue on nice bay window here a nice window entryway double sliding door for this uh, side patio here to entertain guests having a side party here would be perfect and doing a nice coffee in the morning all right we are in a kitchen now large counter space you have right in the front of it a beautiful island with four seaters i think if you squeeze them all a little bit together you can get maybe a fifth one here yeah, three nice pendant light right on top of it to create a nice intimate ceiling on top of it on top once you turn off everything else here yeah. and look at the amount of counter space you yeah, have through an entire kitchen here yeah. you can cook prep and entertain a ton of guests here yeah. Love this a great tone they decided to use for this uh, kitchen blending very nicely with the quartz counter. The dinner, uh, the dining room table, the setup for five people. I think you can have maybe a little bigger with it also nicely under this chandelier or nice fixtures. Nice view of the green and your living space here with the fancy fireplace and also probably TV right above the fireplace here. Yeah. Let's continue on. I think you, we have a master suite here, or master, the first master here. King size bed, the view of the backyard. Always nice to see greenery when we wake up. Nice and tall ceiling. Nice and tall ceiling and we have the ensuite, very similar shape and size as the second manon, except this one is all white. Your freestanding tub right below the uh, bay windows here. Large shower, I'm losing my walls. Yeah, and two, two sink vanity, and the nice light fixtures on the top here. Yeah. Very nice, and your walking closet. Upstairs, your lounge loft area for a kids area, kids playroom would be good. Your second ensuite is right around the corner. So two ensuites. The first ensuite was right underneath here with a view also on the backyard here. And the view of the green. So very much a golf community here. They are building nice freestanding tub your walking club walking showers you do sing vanities again very very similar to the one downstairs and also you have your walking closet and the last couple bedroom of the house first one is right here we're getting into more like a queen size bed maybe a bit smaller probably a twin size i would say fit nicely into the space you have pantry space oops pantry you have laundry space side by side wash and dryer and also the nice counter and the sink to pre-wash your clothes and the last bathroom of the house nice squat we're getting into the last property we're going to tour today the fourth one and it's a single floor, it's called the Globe Floater. 2300 square foot, four bedroom, two bath, and a gorgeous interior. So let's go in. 
right at the entrance we're getting into a little foyer a little areas where we can change the clothes where you can have your keys and everything and right around the corner you have the first bedroom nice you know wallpaper they kind of add a little bit accents to the wall you have your single sink vanity and a nice shower with this blue towel and gold as accent i think it's gorgeous your shower here yeah. great for in-laws staying in town so they have your their own shower and en suite so they don't have to use any, anything else around let's move on let's continue on to the next portion of the house you wash and dryer the laundry space here side by side with a large counter and a, your sink to pre-wash your clothes you do a bedroom right here very conveniently placed next to the garage area we continue and you have next bathroom here single sink vanity with still the gold accents that is repeating from the rest of the house nice shower top combo arrow and bone pattern towel here and your two bedrooms this one is set up as an office and you have this one as you know bedroom here nice very nice very nice let's continue and this model open up to a large living space a bit similar than the one we just tour just a minute ago gorgeous living room most likely your tv is gonna go right between all these windows here a nice view on the back here and look check out this double height windows a bit throughout and they have also the cabinetry that kind of extend almost to the top of the ceiling so this is nice there's a lot of cabinetry a lot of room to prep a nice connection between the living room dining room and the kitchen area so whoever is cooking the meal can still watch the tv and talk to the guests right here on the side here we have a mini bar with a lot of cabinetries all your plate platters glasses would come on top here bigger elements goes on the bottom a side porch like we saw also on couple models ago right here great for your coffee in the morning and you have access to your backyard right here fantastic fantastic we'll stay two minutes on the kitchen three series in the front probably four we can add an extra one and a lot of counter space throughout the uh, kitchen area so you can dine entertain watch games watch tv you won't be left uh, apart when you cook yeah your little pantry and i think it would be your master suite right here access access to the backyard double height windows on the top with the extra real light is coming in the darker deeper blue here yeah, very can tie all the decor together with the darker tar from the first bathroom we walked in and very gorgeous interior overall a little bit different design than the rest of the community the older community had the freestanding tub underneath the large bay windows but this one is tucked away in the corner here yeah. so no problem here and no privacy whatsoever and you have a large walking shower i think this is nice 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 appointed bathroom here yeah. well that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this uh, community tour with the real view here in the rancho Moyata. if you have any questions about this community or any properties you've seen on the screen right uh, on the screen in this video feel free to reach out email me call me text me my phone number is on the screen right now and i'll uh, see you on the next video too see ya